All right, I have a simple how-to video for you here. It's a beautiful December day to shoot a video on how-to. If you've got a, a little spot developing, say near a wall in your bathroom or kitchen, it very well could be caused because of something like this. You got a soil pipe that goes through a pipe boot and it's simply cracked and rotted away due to the sun UV rays and things, fatiguing these and then they just kind of deteriorate and break apart. This is simple do-it-yourself repair, provided the pipe boot itself is not destroyed or cracked or done wrong. It's just this seal. The boot does raise up a little bit, so rainwater diverts around it. You just need to finish the seal or redo the seal on here. And there's a super simple way you can do it at home with one of these right here. I'll try to link them up in the description, but really all you got to do is just go into Google and search pipe boot or, I'm sorry, roofing supply house and it will give you a list near you, whether it's a Beacon, Richards Building Supply, Reese Wholesale, ABC, there's some big ones out there. I don't know where you're watching from. Pick them up. You can typically buy them individually or by the case. You don't need to buy the case, just one. They come, this is a three to four inch. Depending upon the brand, it may be one specific size. I like the multi-size ones. They have another one that goes from like one and a half to three and then three to four. All you gotta do is reach in here. There's a little ring. You poke it with a straight blade and then peel it stick it with a knife right here peel that out so it becomes a four inch in this case it's a three this is for a three what this pipe is is it goes through a wall and when you flush a toilet or drain some water it needs to have air sucking behind it you'll get that classic gurgling in your toilet or your p traps suck your p traps dry that's what these pipes do rain can go right in them and go right into the sewer line or septic you don't always see the leaks because they most of the time go through an a, a, a insert interior wall sometimes you'll have one go through the roof and it might tee off two different directions connecting two different rooms in those cases when you install these you need to be careful you don't push down too hard you could crack some pvc or if it's not strapped up right break a joint in that case i mean really to install it's it's really simple you just simply get your pipe boot this is a solid copper it goes right through a wall it's solid and stout sturdy just stretch it over it you can caulk at it if you want this is a big hole i'm not I'm just going to pull this down. That is it. You can caulk this again if you want to. It doesn't necessarily need it. This is essentially a new rubber seal that comes factory in most pipe boots. But it's just what I call a secondary. You just slide it right on over the top. Word of caution. Be careful up on your roof. People can get hurt. They can fall off. You don't want that. You can go bye-bye really quick. I hope the video helped. Give me a thumbs up. Share it with others. Have a good one.